Well, let, let's do that. What you said, uh, you know, from, from where you've been, what you're able to bring into the community that you're at now. Let's go back. Why don't you take us a little bit down your timeline as a practitioner of, of what's led you, or the path that has led you to where you are now? Um, yeah, I first started out, like my first uh, job was literally as a, a football coach. At a, I graduated and, and went to Northern State University in Aberdeen, South Dakota. And my um, football coach was at the high school there. Well, he gave me my first coaching job. And I was a strength coach and, like I say, defensive line coach. And I did that for a year. Then I had an opportunity to go to a small university here in South Dakota, Dakota Wesleyan right. University. And kind of one of those things where I was everything from, you know, and I was always the head strength coach, but – I was defensive line coach. I was defensive coordinator. One year, I was head women's basketball coach for a year because some things came up, and I can remember the football coach, athletic director, brought me in and said, hey, you played basketball in high school, didn't you? I was like, well, yeah. You were all conference in basketball. I'm like, yeah. And they're like, well, congratulations. You're the new women's basketball coach. You know, in college, I'm like, whoa, no, wait, no, I'm not. And then I was a men's assistant basketball coach. So being at that small university, and then from there, I actually moved down to Texas. I had some buddies I played football with, and they got me down to Texas and um, was coaching down there for a few years, and I decided to go back and get my master's at Tarleton State University, and so a long process. And then from there, I actually went to University of North Texas as a strength and conditioning coach. All right. So I was there for a few years, and um, then I was got, got married, and um, it was one of those things where I'm like, God, which path I had, because I had an opportunity to go to a hospital-owned fitness and wellness center. And so that opportunity came, I'm like, man, do I want to still – keep pursuing, you know, the strength and condition at the college level. Um, you know, when you first get in, especially back in those days, weren't making a lot of money. You're, it's a grind. I thought, okay, well, I got a family to support. So I literally took the job at the hospital wellness center. And I was assistant manager there. And within a year, I took over as director there. And I was actually there for eight years. Uh, so I ran a hot, you know, we did everything from performance training to the fitness stuff to we did cardiac rehab, outpatient, you know, pulmonary we, we did the whole thing there from you know fitness on up to performance training and then they had a switch over in some of the administration it was actually a community-owned ho hospital they sold it to a conglomerate kind of hospital who really was fitness wasn't their basis so i have my own training facility in the same town for six years so i ran my own place and did fitness and training and kind of started pushing myself more towards the fitness i always kind of you know i'd even have other trainers but they would be the ones who would kind of take you know Mrs. Johnson, who came in to do more fitness-based stuff, and because my love was always still performance. So I might take somebody who's 50 years old and say, hey, I want to run, run my first 10K. I want to run a marathon. I want to do a try. Those are the people I kind of always had a passion to work for. And not saying I didn't ever have some of those folks, you know, the 60-year-old two ladies that would come in and say, hey, we just want to, you know, be able to walk without a crutches and her cane or whatever. Um, so I did that for six years, and I always tell people I kind of know what it takes for me to burn out. And right. that was takes me about six years because it was 24-7. And it was just really a grind for me. So I backed off and I actually went and started doing performance camps, like sports camps for two years. Um, kind of just broke away and would do that during the summer and went out. We did, you know, 25 camps a year and did it with some pro football players and did that for a couple of years. Then I had an opportunity from there to actually go to the NSCA in Colorado Springs as a certification director. And that's where you and I had a chance yep. to be in the same area. I did that for a couple of years, and then um, from there I had the opportunity to move to Cleveland. And what took me to Cleveland was working for Stack Magazine as a content editor. Um, I was there for about a month, and then I had an opportunity with Coach Jay Kent Johnston to go with the Cleveland Browns for a couple of years. I was on the staff with the Cleveland Browns, and in that industry, you know, it's oh it's yeah, NFL not for long. I mean, we've all heard that, and that was true there. So in between, I came back to South Dakota just literally to visit and um, a bunch of high school buddies and college buddies we all went out and uh, one of my buddies is actually the CEO because where I'm at now it's Coach Rosie powered by Avera Sports and Avera is a healthcare system in the Midwest North Dakota South Dakota Minnesota Iowa um, Nebraska and they have hospital you know as well as fitness centers they have some performance centers but in this small community they didn't they weren't really doing any performance wise you know, so he called, said, hey, we'd really love to implement this performance program. Do you think it could make a go in a community like Yankton? And I said, I think it can. But our, you know, as we started looking, I said, I think what we really need to do is make sure we have an outreach program to some of these smaller communities because Yankton's a town of about 18,000 people. So from, one, just the population base and then the, you know, income base of those that could maybe 
you know, pay for our services. I said, I think we're going to need to reach out and do more team-based things. And this this uh, August 1st, right now, has been a year, and it's really, really been. My first year here, we did two schools. We had a program here. I live in Yankton, another where I graduated from, small little town. Um, so we did two camps last year, and this year we're actually in four towns, and here in Yankton we have four sessions going on. So it kind of, the performance had kind of exploded, so we're running about 300 and some kids through our summer program as well as still doing some individual training. Some college kids are back, and then we still run. I have some folks that do some, you know, training boot camps for, like, distance runners if they're running, getting ready for races or different things like that. So our focus, because we're in the same building as a wellness center, but, you know, kind of when you see your background, it's kind of the same thing. You know, we don't have all the treadmills and the selectorized equipment and everything in there. When people walk in, they're kind of like, oh, my gosh, what is this place? So we're like, yeah, if you want to get on a treadmill, which is cool, you know, if you want to do the, if you want to work out, that's great. You can go downstairs. But if you were here to train and have a purpose of what you're doing, that's really what we kind of, like I say, the education part. We're trying to educate folks, say, when you come in here, we're going to have your goals and help you train for a purpose because we're going to say, yeah, we got you to your goal. Now, you might you know, shift and adjust those goals, but that's really what we're doing. So that's what brought me back here. And like I said, I'm starting my second year here now. And it's been good getting back. You know, you miss some of the big city stuff once in a while. But, you know, and I have people say, oh, do you miss the NFL? And there's some relationship things you miss there. But it's always been for me all the way through my journey, either hospital, at a college, at the pro level, it's really about training and helping people try to get better at whatever level they're at. You know, getting like we talked about at the beginning, helping get to that next level. It's maybe a pro guy making the team or a pro guy making all pro or a pro guy just getting more playing time, whatever that is, or staying injury free. Then high school kids saying, hey, I want to make, I just want to make the varsity team and a right. kid go, I want to start and maybe do I have a chance to maybe go play college ball somewhere, coach, you know.